Jolene with Homestitch Redecor. I'm so glad you found the channel. Stick around. Let's go learn something. Hey guys, it's Jolene here with Homestitch Redecor. Today I'm going to teach you how to make these cute uh, crocheted cotton dishcloths with this fun edging on them. I'm using the Bernat Yarnspirations Handicrafter Cotton Yarn and a 4.5, can you see it there? 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. If you choose to purchase these on Amazon, I'll put a link in below. I am an affiliate, so I do get a small payout if you choose to purchase through a link. No obligation. Um, it does help me out, but otherwise you guys can uh, purchase through uh, your local craft store is great. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to chain 25 to get started. So get your yarn, make your loop, push your end through, pull it taunt, put your hook through. Pull that taunt and now we've got a loop here we're going to chain 25 so we'll just count it off real quick one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. All right, you have changed 25, and now we're going to do a double crochet in each loop all the way back. So not this first one right next to the hook, uh, but the one afterwards. What we're going to do is get this looped around our little finger. We're going to loop one, and we're going to push it through. And then pull one through and right now you can see we've got three on and a loop and we're going to pull through two and now we've got two on and we're going to pull through th two again and then just repeat the process all the way across so in each loop we're going to double crochet so let's do a couple more together we're going to loop one push it through loop again loop again pull through two Loop again, pull through two. One more. Loop one, push it through. Loop again, you've got three on. Loop, pull through two. Loop, th pull through two. And we're just gonna go all the way to the end and I'll meet you there. Okay, we're almost at the end here. We've just got a couple more to go. So I just wanted to come back and show you how we turn. So let's just finish up the couple we've got here. Loop one. As you can see, I don't go right into this very tiny loop at the very end. It'll just get messy from there. Oh, and look, I messed that up. Let's try it again. Nobody is perfect. Okay, there we go. Through the two, through the next two. And now I flip this. And I'm going to chain two, loop one, and go into the top of the next double crochet at the top of it here. So it's right at the top, loop one, and we're going to do this again. We're going to double crochet all the way back to the other side. So loop one, put into the top of the other double crochet push it through, loop one, loop again, pull through two, pull through two more, and again. It's a really simple pattern. We're gonna do this all the way to the end, and then we're gonna turn. So loop one, right in the top of the double crochet, push it through, loop one, loop one, pull through two, loop one, pull through two. Okay, so we'll go all the way to the end again and I'll meet you there. All right, now you've reached the end of the second row and it's a little bit hard to tell, but you do have to put um, your last one into this very end of this last double crochet. So you can see it's quite squared off there. It looks like a little step and you don't want that. You want everything even on the end. So make sure you go right into this very end one 
loop through, pull your loop through. Here's your double crochet started. Loop through the first two. Oh, I messed that up. Hang on. Do it again. Push it through, loop one. There we go. Now we got it. It's just really hard when you're trying to video. And loop through the next two. And you can see now it's perfectly square. And we're going to chain two and turn and start the process again. The pattern repeats. Um, I do 14 rows. So double crochet in the top of the other crochets all the way across for 14 rows. And we'll see how it looks from there. Okay, so we have about eight rows done, which means it's half time, which means it's snack time. At Homestitchery Decor, we love to drink this Spice Cabinet Tradition Salted Caramel Hot Chocolate. It is so yummy. Uh, it's a line of their gourmet hot chocolates that they provide. Um, they also do dip mixes. So I will put a link in the description and it's a local Alberta company. You can only buy this in Canada. And if you're so inclined, go click the link and order yourself up a treat. So now we've reached the end and we've just got one more double crochet to do in our rows of 14. So we'll do that. And now we're gonna go work on the edging. So what I do is I chain one just so this isn't tight here. And then in this corner piece, in the big section, I'm going to single crochet. So put your hook through, pull through once, hook again, pull through. We're gonna do that three times. There we go. And now all the way across, we're just gonna find some, you know, holes here and we're going to put um, single crochets into those holes and this is going to be the base of our next stitch so if it's a really big hole I put in two and then I'll skip this piece here and move on to the next really big hole put your hook through and just chain one we're gonna do this all the way around see that to me is a, a smaller hole you don't want them too bunched together I want them kind of even. I just want to do this to the end so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Not hard. Once again, just time and patience, right? Single crochet, single crochet. What did you do today? A single crocheted. Oh gosh, here we go. Almost to the corner. Okay, and now on this first corner again, we're going to do three and I like to put it not quite in this big hole here, but on the end piece, um, just so you get no bulk build up there. And why we're doing three is so when we do the next round, it's easier, oops, I've missed one here. It's easier um, tension wise to round the corner and you don't get your corner, you know, pulling in different directions. Okay, so we've done that. And now on the end here, we're just gonna do it all the way through this top stitch. So instead of going in the big hole, we're gonna go into these, um, this, I guess the base stitch that we started with. So just single crochet all the way around. And look at the corner there, it's gonna be nice and flat. So as we're coming around uh, the third corner here, you can see the edges all look the same now. There's the third edge. So technically we don't even have to do that into the fourth edge. It already looks uh, like the finish because this is actually where we started um, the, the cloth itself. So now we can just move on to our next step. So I've put um, three single crochets into the corner and now this is where we're gonna mix things up a bit. So instead of going into the top, 
we're actually going to go into the loop at the back. So we're going to push our hook through, we're going to loop one, and then we're going to loop again and pull through the two. So again, we're not going through the top, we're going through the one at the back. So put your hook through, hook one, loop, and pull through. And again, through the back, put your hook through, loop, and hook one. Through the back, loop, and hook one. And then when you get to the corner where you have your three that started, um, do one in the first one and two in the second one and one in the third one. And just do that on every corner and we're gonna go around three times and we'll see what it looks like then. I just rounded the first corner and I just wanted to show you guys what this is gonna look like. You can see here that it's just, it's got a different ridge to it now. And look how nice and flat that corner is. So when we came to the corner where we did three uh, to start off with, on this round, we're gonna put two um, single crochets just into the middle one. So start off with one in the first one, two in the middle one, one in the last one of the three on the corner. And that way it'll just lay super flat and won't be pulling or puckering there as you round it up. And you can see here, it's gonna make a nice uh, little detail. And now we're coming up to the end here. As you can see, there's a nice little ridge all the way around. So I'll just show you guys how to finish it off. We're almost done. So still with the going in behind, loop one, hook one, in behind, loop one, hook one all the way across. If you uh, enjoyed this video and you want to learn more, you can hit subscribe and be sure to hit that bell button so you get notified of when our next video drops. And by our, I mean me, it's Jolene. I'm the only one here, which is fine. I like working in uh, my office here. Okay, so this is the last little loop. We're gonna go into the middle one of the two that you have on the corner. And we're just gonna push it through once and loop it around. And now trim our end and pull it through and voila, you are done. So this is what it looks like. And now you just need to uh, darn your ends in here. So grab yourself a darning needle and just um, you know start from the corner and go back and forth a little bit so it never pulls out. And thanks for being here today. I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.